gorgeous ones hey gorgeous ones and so today is awesome i am doing a collab with the ladies from my group um we are uh, on facebook we are a small little group of ladies who are you know helping each other grow on youtube and so we are, you know, recreating looks from some of our favorite beauty icons. And um, the link will be in the descriptions for every, for all the videos, for all the people who are doing the videos. So please make sure you check them out. I, I can't wait to see them because we have not even told each other which, who, what beauty icons we're doing. So this is going to be freaking awesome to like check it out. So I'm so excited. So anyway, um, let me just talk to you about my beauty icon. Uh, the, um, the lady, the person that I decided, you know, and I was going back and forth. I was looking at, you know, I, I'm older. So there's a lot of people I was thinking about. I was thinking about Cher, you know, cause Cher is like awesome. She's got the, like the looks, the looks, but then I decided on Miss Lena Horn. And now of course, my hair is not exactly, I went for a 40s look on my hair because my hair is much longer than Miss Lena's was. So I tried to do a victory roll, but I came up with, you know, the front pinup roll. I hope this came out good and with a little bob in the back because, you know, this is very 40s looking. But let me tell you why I decided on Lena Horn. I was trying to decide on who I was going to choose and I was looking through all these people. I was looking at like Cher. I was looking at... Twiggy. I was looking at so many people, but then I thought about. It, I said, I it, all of a sudden, Le Miss Lena Horn came into my mind, and one of the reasons why I chose her was because she was the first black glamour star. Yes, there were other black women who were stars like Hattie McDaniel's and stuff, but she was the first woman who was really, she was you know put put up to be a leading lady and to be glamorous as a leading lady, which was something that they normally didn't do with us as black women in the movies back then. So I remember seeing her talking about, you know, her back when she was, um, you know, first starting out. Um, and one of the things she talked about was makeup. And the thing with makeup for her, there was two things. A, they didn't have makeup for her because they either had makeup for um, darker complexion black women or they had it for the white women on, you know, for white women who, you know, stars like Greta Garbo and Joan Crawford. And so they had, and that was one issue. And then the other issue was because they were having her with love interest and, you know, they, these were going to be african-american men black men they didn't want her to look too light on camera because because this was black and whites and they didn't want them to people to think that they were promoting interracial like maybe lean like lena horn was when she first came out that she wasn't a black woman and they might m misconstrue her as a white woman and this was a, a interracial couple so they made her they made her they made special makeup for her they called it light egyptian and they made her a few shades darker so that she would photograph darker on on the black and white film so there would be no um, questions about her ethnicity that you didn't know that did you okay and so i thought about that i was like okay i like you know there's a there's a serious story behind it and i really love it and to be quite honest i have always admired i admired lena horn you know i thought she was just beautiful you know she was so glamorous you know she she stood for her stood up for her own thing she you know went into what was it the age she was like what a late like was she 60s or something when she did her her broadway show and she won a tony for her one woman show i mean she was like in the whiz you know all those type of things that i always remember miss lena horn for and so she lived to be 92 she died in like 2010 she was born in 1917 so she had a nice long life and i wanted to like so for my beauty icon i wanted to do a look inspired by miss lena horn and this picture right here. So I use this picture right here. So if you would like to see how I came up with this look right here, don't go anywhere. Okay, so I'm starting on the look and I'm going to be using the Just Peachy Mattes because I'm um, looking at Miss, Miss Lena Horn's um, eye look. It's very pale you know it, it doesn't even look like she has that much on so i'm just gonna do a very basic very light smoky 
eye on the back end and um and uh just do that and smudge a little eyeliner because her eyeliner was very you know wasn't like this and so that's where i'm gonna start so let's get started all right so we're gonna do a simple eye look and i'm using peaches and cream and i'm kind of putting it all over my eye just to set the color It's kind of like a transition too, but yeah, you just call it a transition and set my whole entire eye. And then next up, I'm going to I'm going to use the fresh picked right at the bottom, and I'm going to put that in the crease. put that in the crease in the like the outer V just a little bit then I'm gonna take peach tart the um, mid brown and just use it on the very outside because this is gonna be a very light eye look because like in the pictures it really didn't look like Miss Lena had on any eye makeup at all but I just wanted to give it a little you know zhuzh to the eye look All right, now I'm gonna use peach butter, and I'm just gonna tap that onto my um, lid, just to you know give it a little um, definition to the lid, so it'll have a little, you know, make it a little brighter lid. I'm using all mattes because I I didn't want any sparkles at all. And then I'm taking a little bit of fresh picked, just a little bit, just to uh, make sure I blend it in well. So through the crease area and just a little tap a little more of the peach tart just to give it a little more definition in the outer corner and now I'm just lining my eyes with a little brown eyeliner just and I'm gonna smudge it out just a little bit just to give it a little more um, natural effect So I'm gonna line my bottom lash with um, this nude eyeliner from uh, Rimmel just to brighten it up a little bit. Not to, I'm not gonna do any dark colors because I just wanna brighten up the, the bottom of my uh, lash line, you know. Okay, I guess I can stop. Okay, so part of the thing is the light Egyptian, like I explained. So I'm going to like, try and use this this is i was going looking for the darkest colors i have so i'm going to try and darken it up so i can have a nice dark tan so this is my uh, superstay maybelline superstay in um golden and we're gonna go from there so i apparently forgot to mention to i uh, turned off my uh cam paused it and didn't show you me putting on my foundation, which is uh, the Superstay, Maybelline Superstay in Golden. So right now I'm uh, putting on a little concealer, which is, I went a little bit darker, so I did the medium dark that I have in uh, the Urban Decay Naked Skin. So now I'm just trying to put on my uh, concealer, considering, so foundation is on, prim primer's on, foundation's on, and now I'm putting on a concealer. So now I'm going to set it with my e.l.f. Peach Under Eye Brightening Powder. Mm. 
Num Next up, I'm going to um, set the, my foundation with this Black Radiance uh, finishing powder. And it's in Golden Almond. Now, I normally don't use it because it is a little too dark for me. But because I'm trying to, you know, make sure I have this um, much deeper complexion, because I'm light Egyptian, that um, I'm going to do that. And I really look kind of dark, y'all. Okay, so now I'm putting a little balm on my lips. <laughs> And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a little bronzer for contouring um, because in the 30s is when they started really contouring. I looked it up and that's when they said they started kind of using a little contour on uh, the cheeks. So I'm gonna do a very light contour. And now I'm gonna do the blush, which is the Milani and I'm using, I think that's the uh, coral one just for a little light flush because um, there wasn't a lot of blush on there just enough to give a little you know color to the cheeks now let's do some of these eyebrows now honestly Miss Lena's eyebrows wasn't a, there wasn't a lot done to them so I'm just going to like you know darken mine up just a little bit Just enough to give it a little darken, you know, darken them up just to give them a little frame to the face, but not a, a serious shape to it. And so now I'm going to finish up. All right. So here's the look. Very simple eye, you know, the eyebrows, not a lot do, done to them. And of course, you have to have a red lip. Threw on some lashes. I didn't have really short lashes, but these are the shortest I had. So... Um, I'm going to change the perspective and make this black and white and put Miss Lena right next to me. And we can see, did I do okay on my, my, um, my recreation of her look? Um, I hope you like this. So, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me any comments you would like to make about it. Um, also, don't forget to hit the description box and watch the other ladies in the Beauty YouTuber Growth Group. Ugh, that was a lot to say. That uh, participated in this collaboration. I would love to. So that's it for now. It's you, Lulu. Be bold. Be brave. Be fearless. Be free. Y'all just really don't know how many times it took me to do this. Bye-bye.